<laughs> what a beautiful story. <laughs> what a beautiful story. And that's one of the main reasons why I also wish to do what I said earlier as well. But yes, curling, by all means, please do. Now, I was on the Star Rails earlier. I do not think I am going to get any chance in getting um, any luck whatsoever when it comes to Blade. I'm currently getting near to, I think, 30 rolls or something. It's like 26. I just, I don't see it happening. Yeah, there's like, what, a week or so, but I'll save up what I have currently until I can just roll on, like, the last day or something. <laughs> it's not the end of the world if I don't get Blade. It's just, I wouldn't say no, but every five star is pretty good. Oh, Zin, come to the bowl again. Hey, Yakumo, it seems I'll be here for a while again. You seem pretty busy yourself. Of course we are, after all. We've got a pack signing approaching. <laughs> Sorry, but I wouldn't have time to bother with you for a while. This should be the ambassador's of office. Shall we say hello to uh, Elsa? All right, let me introduce you. Hmm. Yes, come in. Pardon us, Elsa. Why, Zin? Zin Fafik. Hello, hello. Come in. Last I heard, you'd return to Calvar. What's an old dog like you doing back here in Grand Cell? Ha, ah, well, let's just say this old dog had a trick or two more to show off. I'll likely be here in the bowl for a while. As to be expected of an A-rank bracer, I suppose. You never let up, do you? So, who's this with you? Um, a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. I'm Estelle Bright of the Bracer Guild. These are our, um, assistants, Olivia Lenheim and Chloe Rins. A pleasure, Ambassador. It, it really it is. It's me, Olivia. It's great to be here. Would you like me to play your tune? It's a pleasure to meet you, Ambassador. Oh, the pleasure is mine. I'm Elsa Koshrain, Kavar's Ambassador to Liberl. I get the feeling this is a bit more than a social call, though. I'm afraid so. Stirl and her party asked about the threatening letter the embassy received. Ah, that letter, yes. You're helping the Royal Army investigate the matter, then? Technically, yes. Threats of terrorism aren't exactly something the Guild can ignore either, though. Would you mind helping us out? Well, I suppose... We're, well, stuck into the situation, after all. What would you like to know? Well, um, to start with, do you have any idea who would have sent that letter? Like, does anyone in the Republic oppose the signing of the pact, or...? Well, of course. You're looking at one, after all. Huh? Elsa, please. Try not to tease the kids too much, yeah? Well, the truth's the truth, Sin. I'm pretty sure I've chewed your ear off about Erboni enough for you to know what I think. Hmm? Well, yes. <laughs> Still, Miss Bright, don't misunderstand me. President Rocksmith and Parliament have already approved the pact. My personal feelings won't get in the way of my job. Uh, right. Is there anyone else from Calvard who might oppose the pact? Oh, certainly. They're all tiny groups, though. And to be honest, there's no real reason to oppose it, anyway. No reason? I don't quite follow. It's not worth bothering. The pact doesn't have any practical effect. It's simply agreeing to the statement, we shall not rely on violence to solve international problems and negotiate instead. It's more of a declaration than anything else, but... Hmm, it is little more than a promise which can be broken without a consequence. Save a loss of face. Save a loss of face, no. Precisely. The worst it could do would be to rally other countries against the aggressor. Now, it's true that relations between Urboni and Calvard have gotten even worse than usual over the past decade. So there is some value in establishing Le Bol as a place where we can negotiate. But again, Bob proposing that. 
Yeah. It doesn't really seem like the thing you'd send a bunch of threatening letters about. Well, Ambassador Koshrain, if you don't believe someone from Calvard is the perpetrator, then whom do you suspect? Hmm. <laughs> well... My guts, of course, tell me to blame it all on the Urbonians. Their militaristic hawk faction, specifically. But frankly, even they have their... that new engine on the line. They aren't so stupid as to cut off their noses to spite their faces. The new engine? Wait, you mean the one from the Arcelli? Yes. An engineering sample will be provided to both Calvard and Urbonia. It'll happen right after the signing, in fact. Whoa! Ah, as to be expected of Queen Alicia. She holds both Empire and Republic in the palm of her hand. Yes, I hate to admit it. She's handled this masterfully. A cutting-edge engine is bound to birth a whole new generation of airship designs. And Alicia is practically handing it out. So long as you sign this agreement and play nice with it and each other, at least for a while. Even the most testosterone poison ninnies among the uh, Abonian Hawks wouldn't want to miss this chance. Yeah, I guess so. Which means, of course, that the possibility that either the Republic or the Empire interfering directly is pretty low. Indeed. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. No, you're a big help. Just being able to cross suspects off the list helps a lot. Oh, speaking of which, though, we'd like to ask you about something else. I still asked Amb Ambassador Koshrain about Rene's parents. Harold Hayworth, a merchant from Crossbell. Hmm... I can't say it rings any bells. I'm sorry. He's never visited the Embassy, at least. Darn, well, thanks. Do remember that Crossbell sits directly between Urbonia and Calvard, however. You may want to inquire the Urbonian Embassy as well. Okay, thanks, Ambassador. And thanks for being so open with us. You're quite welcome. I'm glad I could help. By the way, you said your name was Estelle Bright. You wouldn't happen to be Brigadier General Bright's daughter. Oh, you know Dad? <laughs> of course. The heroic vanquisher of the Imperial Army, and at the head of the Bell's Royal Army. I'd heard he had a daughter, but I didn't expect to meet you like this. Uh, um, well, I'm just kind of an inexperienced newbie myself, still. You're off to a good start, then, I think. We at the Embassy have relied on the Guild a number of times in the past. Should the time come again, I hope you'll aid us, Miss Bright. <laughs> well, if the chance comes up, sure. Well, we'll see you around. What a lovely lady. Estelle Bright. Our embassy owes the guild greatly for your constant support. Should we have any jobs come up, I'll be happy you'd be the one to take them on. And yeah, the time came to me like uh, yesterday and I was like about to get ready for bed. I was like, oh my god, that's the perfect title for this because Estelle really does just keep getting more and more little sisters. It's crazy. Wait, where's... Where are our two... Where are our little sisters, damn it? They're supposed to be around here somewhere. I thought they were going shopping. <gasps> I have a sneaky suspicion. I might know where they're located. Hey. <laughs> they won't be located in the bar. Clearly. At least I hope they're not located in the bar. Please don't be located in the bar. Okay, they're not located in the bar. That's okay. Welcome. Welcome to the Sunny Bell Inn. Hmm? Are you Olivier, the guy asked to perform the piano a while back? <laughs> Indeed! It's been a while. What are you doing here today? Oh, say not such cruel words. The bittersweet few days I spent here with you. To a lonely traveling performer, they were truly a single ray of light, illuminating an eternal dark. So unable to forget you, I have returned like a migrating bird, seeking the warmth of the sun. <laughs> Same as always. If you don't have anything else to do, I wonder if I could ask you to play the piano again. <laughs> but of course! I was really hoping we are going to have another moment where he doesn't just sit on her face, but also curlings and plays the piano. I mean, what? 
<laughs> oh. I'll see people smile when they get something important repaired. Oh, I didn't understand that. Well. And that's why it needs to happen. <laughs> Uh, welcome in, Team Boo 42 Raiders. How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome to the wonderful world of Trails in the Sky. Good to have you here. It is the way that it goes, indeed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I don't. I don't know where our adorable uh, babies are. About that's that's a bit of a shame. Ah, wait, is that who I think it is? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> the hell did you walk into? You walked into Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Yeah, exactly. The best thing is it's, it's definitely a topic of conversation, right? Welcome to the Bell News Service. If you have businesses with reporters, please go to the editorial room on the second floor. Okay. God damn it, Niall, where are you? Oh, Estelle. Hey, your chief, it's been a while. What do you need today, hmm? Business with Niall? Yeah, I got some big questions on some guild business. Is he back from ruin yet? Yeah, he's back, but... I think he stepped outside to do some coverage. Ah, figures. He always does seem pretty busy. Well, that's our job, after all. Don't you know? Don't, don't know where he is, but I heard he'll be back by the evening. Okay, got it, thanks. Hmm, it seems we should start somewhere else. Yes, this can definitely be the last place we visit. Absolutely, it can be. I guess we're off to the Urbonian Embassy, where... Uh... <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion Olivia is going to get a right freaking telling off. Oh, get that hand ready, curling. It's probably going to be necessary. Probably to punish Olivia in whatever fashion you want to do it with. Oh, Olivia. <laughs> you continue to play your role well, Bergen. I would like to enter. Maybe pass. I can't say no to you, but uh, who's with you? Oh, we're from the Bracer Guild. I'd like to ask the ambassador a few things, if that's okay. Before we try handing Olivia, having Olivia introduce us. Oh, okay. Well, there shouldn't be a problem with letting you in, then. Welcome to the Ebonian Embassy. Do you remember that the Embassy is Ebonian source, so be careful, yeah? We will be. This is quite the building. Whoa. This place definitely matches the Calvardian Embassy in terms of fanciness. Grandiose and yet powerful at the same time. It's very imperial. Imperial, if nothing else. Hmm. It is a stage upon which the Empire can parade its influence and power. Alas, that the actors are unequal to the set dressing. You realise Lord Krenner would hit the roof if he heard you say that. My most bosom companion! It has been an age! How you do? Are you well, dear Mueller? I would be better if I could cut you in half and be done with it. I told you again and again to ensure we're constantly aware of your location and you! Ah, but it's a tactic in the war of love! 
<laughs> Did you know absent makes the heart grow fonder? Estelle Bright, you have my thanks. I can only imagine the trouble this idiot has been causing you. <laughs> Actually, he hasn't been too bad, I guess. He's been really well mannered, comparatively. Well, ignoring the lunatic. I presume you have business here at the embassy. Yes, sir. You would like to speak to the ambassador. Estelle explained her desire to meet with the ambassador concerning the letter. That letter, right. I've been somewhat concerned myself, but I'm surprised the guild is acting. This is a request from Brigadier Je General Bright and the Royal Army, I take it. Technically, yes, but... We're trying to investigate it as neutrally as we can, you know. Nobody's guilty till proven that that kind of thing. Hmm. A commendable mindset, no doubt why he chose you. Very well, I shall introduce you to Lord Ambassador Cranach. I suspect, I suspect you'll find it easy to gain his trust if I do the introduction, as opposed to a certain someone. Really? Thanks, Mueller. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, sir. Um, wait! You really have no, have so little faith in me. But I'm Olivier. I'm the star of the show. You, um, thought we had faith in you for this? If you introduced us, he'd probably want us to have us kicked out. Um, sorry, Olivier. Ah, the sting of being forsaken. Sting of the truth, maybe. The Kranag is in his office on the second floor. I shall go and ask your arrival. Give me a moment. We'll wait then. I want to explore the other rooms in case there's more story. I must. I must do it. Oh, hey, it's been a while, Olivia. Are these your guests? Indeed, one would call them guests, but I'm more inclined to think of them as my soulmates. Our days spent together have been so tender, so sweet. I feel to merely call this force love. Does it a service to our bond? Is that not so, Estelle? My. Wait, does that mean you've dumped Mueller? My, my head hurts. I think I'm starting to understand Mueller's suffering. This show past the Carnelia series. Oh man, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All the books in this room were published in Le Bell. To learn about someone's nation, start with their culture. You're free to read them, but please put them back when you found them once you're done. <clears throat> Story.